Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of safety about airlines in the shop. You know, there's nothing worse than needing an airline and you go to grab it and then it pops off. Some, something comes loose. It, it starts leaking, whatever, because of hose clamps, right? Hose clamps, fittings, all that kind of stuff. Or you need, you need a line, but somebody else is using it. Well, yeah, they've got couplings to where you can have the, the line coming from the compressor going off into three shots, but what if you just don't have the cash or whatever just to make your own? There you go. Hey, that's a good idea. So uh, what I'm going to do is make a manifold, okay? This is just some one and a half inch mild steel pipe, and uh, we're going to take some uh, air fittings, we're going to drill holes, and then we're going to weld them on. Now, you can either go with the steel fitting onto the pipe or you can do the brass and I'm going to do both and uh, with the brass we're going to use a silicon bronze and that'll that'll go ahead and um, fuse with the with the steel just for enough pressure for the for the uh, 120 pounds average PSI on a compressor that you need for your tools okay I got the pipe cut and got the holes cut now I'm going to put the fittings on here. I'm going to use a silicon bronze for the steel. And uh, you got to remember when you drill these holes, make sure all the little chips and everything are out of here because those chips will get stuck in your line and you'll, down the road you'll really have some problems. Uh, I'm going to, on one end, I'm going to have the air fitting so you can connect it. I'm just using a flat washer. It'll go right in through there and go like that. On the other end, I'm using a flat washer too, but I've plugged it and that'll go on that end. So after it's welded up, we'll go ahead, we'll put some pressure to it, and then we'll soap check it for leaks. And uh, there's your manifold there. I'm going to put some brackets on the ends too so I could mount it up on the wall or on a, a column or something just so it's not laying around on the floor. And um, let's see how this silicon bronze is going to work with it. Okay, I got all my fittings set, and we're going to go ahead and tack our parts. What you want to remember though is just to tack them in so to keep them straight. And the other side's tacked already. And then I take this part. This is where our other fitting is going to go. And put it right there on our piece. Tack that down. Put a couple tacks on. And then our other fitting will just go right in like that. And I'll do that after I get everything else tacked. Turn this around. Basically, it's going to go like that. Okay, let's weld it up. Okay, well here I'm going to add a little bit of the rod. You don't have to add a lot of rod. With the silicon bronze, you don't even have to get too much of a puddle. It'll flow right on through. And just watch your heat. And with this clear cup, it really helps. Now I'm using a 16th tungsten and an 045 rod. And you just dip it, then blend it on in. With your stops and starts, you want to come back a little bit on each direction so you know you're getting that little pinhole taken care of. But we will come back and test everything after it's all welded up. We're just going to pump it up to 120 PSI and shoot a little soap on it 
Just look for bubbles. Then you can come back and just, just butter it in. Just fuse it in. And when you finish your weld, stay on there a little bit and keep that gas flowing for a second or two. So when it does cool down, you're not getting any impurities into the metal. Because that's what you'll be fighting. Just be comfortable when you come around. You don't have to make one continuous bead. And just watch your heat. And just come around again. Start on the next one. You can roll the tube if you have the bleep the V blocks. And going downhill, that's a little that's okay. Just watch the heat so you don't get drips. Keep that gas covered. It'll flow right in. Yeah, the silicon bronze is it's good for having two different materials together. This time I'm using the same. It's they're both steel, the steel fitting and the steel tube. Watch your heat when you get ready to do the end cap. Being it's almost a, a corner to corner weld and all your heat has no place to go. So this is where you'll pop a hole or it'll drip away and you'll lose control of it. So, so you really have to watch your heat. Try to keep it as flat as you can, even though you are going on a, a circular bead. Try to stay up on top. This is when you kind of want to turn your tube and keep it from going downhill as much as you can. Just remember your stops and starts. Before you go past your stop and start, make sure that it's filled in right there because that's where you'll come back with the little pinhole. And when you stop, if you need to, hit it with a wire brush. It's not going to hurt anything. Take your time. Just remember, with thin material, keep your heat down. I recommend here, I would say, probably your amps. I'd go maybe 45 amps, maybe 50. come around and that's about it okay there you go it's all cleaned up looks pretty good I didn't put any Teflon tape on yet because I used my soap and so I checked for all the little spots around here and then we're okay all through here and so if I want to I can put a couple little brackets here to put on the wall or whatever you want and uh there you go. You can hang it on the wall. Um, you can leave it on the floor, which I don't recommend. But anyway, I'm Rob. Thank you for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you next time.